Hey, what is going on guys? Mark Dickinson here. This is a two minute tutorial on speeding up Lightroom and getting it running faster for you. Simple as that. Let's jump in here and do it. You wanna be up here in your edit, then jump into preferences. We're gonna go through a few things right here that need to be checked. We're gonna go right down the top. Performance tab up at the top, if you're not already on it, you're gonna check the use graphics processor. From there, you're gonna jump down and you wanna set up a location for your camera raw settings camera all cache settings and that's going to do is just read some data and make sure that Lightroom is interpreting that data and you want to give it some space. This is originally set up to like three gigs. If you have space, use as much as you can. I do it at hundred gigs because I have about 400 free on one of my performance drives. Now, next thing you want to do, if you don't import video and you're not using video, just go ahead and check this right here where it says limit video cache and make it something small like three gigs like it naturally is there. Time to time, you want to come in and click Purge Cache on these two buttons right here. And this one here will go away once it's done, but that gets rid of any old stuff. And then you can re-render some previews based off of what you're currently working on right now. Next thing you want to do is make sure to generate previews in parallel. That's good to have on there. What it's going to do is create all the previews uh, side by side like that and in line with itself. Now, if you are running slow, you can click this button right here, Optimize Catalog. What this is going to do is pop up a little box. We did it today at 11.20 a.m. So I'm not gonna do it again, but once you click it, it takes anywhere from four to seven minutes to optimize the catalog, depending on how many files you have on the computer there. All right, once we're done with that, we're gonna hit OK. Next thing we wanna do is we can go into Catalog Settings. We're gonna come in over here. We're going to check a couple of these boxes right here. We're gonna make sure that uh, I leave it on Auto 1920 for the previews. I leave it on Medium. And as well, I check after 30 days for removing smart previews. Because once I get done with my weddings or events, those files are gone and done. And I don't need them anymore. All right, guys, that's what we got right here. One other thing we're going to do is going to show you a trick on import of how to make sure that your files and your previews are preloading so that when you're importing files, all you have to do is come in and then start working on your files. So I'm going to show you how to get those rendered on import. All right, so when you are doing an import, one of the things that you wanna make sure that you do over here on file handling is you wanna make sure that your build smart previews are checked. What this is gonna do is it's gonna pre-build all the previews. So when you're flagging through them and, and calling through them, you can actually see uh, a quicker render if you need to zoom in on the file right there. Now I do it on minimal, but you can do any one of these right here, embedded in sidecar, standard, or one-to-one. -one. One to one is one of those that show exactly a full res file right off the bat on there. So uh, make sure that's checked right there, and then uh, you can go ahead and do that. So let me show you what happens when you do have a one-to-one -one preview done versus not having one done. So let me show you guys what happens when you do have a one-to-one -one file set up. All right, here it is, we're gonna click in. You can see that there's instantly, without any loading, a clean full res image right there. And when you have one without it, this is what it does. Jump to this one and load in. See how it's loading down here at the bottom? So Lightroom preloads those one-to-one -one previews and lets you see them right away. If you don't have them rendered, this is what happens. About 11 seconds worth of, of rendering right there. Same thing on this one. This is just a duplicate of that previous one. It still needs to load that one-to-one -one preview when you zoom in like that. So there we go, guys. If you want to re-render those when they come in, that is perfect. That's what you can do. Hope you guys appreciate this two-minute tutorial. Lastly, my biggest recommendation is when you do have hardware, buy yourself a solid-state drive, buy yourself some good memory and a good GPU if you're rebuilding a new computer. Get yourself those things there and double, if not triple, the specs that you need for Lightroom that they recommend. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Click that like and subscribe button, ring that bell, get notified when I put up some more videos, and leave a note in the comments. I'll be there monitoring for the rest of this week here, and I will see you guys again soon.